And our final athlete tonight, the two-time world champion and American record holder at 200 meters. What did you most like about athletics as a kid? I think it was the fact that I didn't have to basically wait on other people, but I knew that I wanted to win, so I was going to do everything I could to win. What are your earliest memories, sort of your own participation in running? I mean, you run every day. You know, every, anytime you go outside, you race your friends. So R running is just, you know, part of being human, I guess. And he's already down the track. American Noah Lyles. <laughs> for a nonprofit event put on by the Atlanta City Track Club and our nonprofit. We're here to help out, maybe teach some drills, do a few Q&As, um, and, some and take some pictures and see what they need of us. I like seeing if somebody actually has a passion for track. Just because just your parents forced you to do it doesn't mean you actually like it. <laughs> so right over here where this sign is, they're gonna get all the kids out of here. We're going to introduce you, a little Q&A from the kids for a few minutes, about 15 minutes. And then the kids are going to do a bunch of sprint girls over here. You, just, you guys just kind of supervise and help out and do what you can, and that's our deal. Okay. 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 That's easy. Yeah, so can you guys show them a warm welcome? Hi, everybody. Hi. How are you guys doing today? Good. Are you good? I have brought some very special guests to chat with you today. So this is Noah and Josephus Lyles, and I'm going to let them tell you all about what they do. I don't know if you guys like fast stuff. You guys like fast stuff? Yeah! yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog! Yeah. 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 How fast are you? So fast. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we want to the fastest. Real fast. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask y'all something. All right, what's have you ever broken the world record? I've broken many world records. Oh. 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 To like 10,000 million billion? <laughs> no, not that. It's not a number, like one, but okay. <laughs> I think we're going to start doing our sprint workout now. <laughs> Is everybody ready? I want to start this one. You got it. He's going to start, okay, but are you ready? Yeah! Are you sure? Yeah! I can't hear you! Yeah! Okay. Alright, I'm going to say ready and go. You ready? Yeah! Uh, ready! <laughs> I don't think you guys are good at listening. Ready? Go! Go! <laughs> I saw sweat on Josephus' face. <laughs> I think he actually got a workout in. Do you usually let him kind of lead the stuff like this? Uh, I'll let him do as much as he wants until he's ready to pass it on. Because I never know how much Josephus wants to give at one point. Kind of all on the vibe. Sometimes we'll actually walk out and we'll be like, hey, you want to take the lead on this one? He's like, yeah, or no. You know, um, I definitely say he takes better on the younger age group. Um, once we get to about 12 and up, I definitely usually will be the first one to take the lead. Um, but yeah, I think he does really good with the kid, the younger kids. Yeah. Yeah, we can take pictures while we wait. Everybody line up behind this, this lady right here. Talk to the kids and you know you go and you run with them and like they'll remember that forever Like that might that could potentially change their whole life And you go to a president and they're gonna ask you like you know whatever question they ask and it's like okay. Are you gonna break the world record? Like it's not, you it's not PR today. Yeah. It doesn't really do anything like it's not really important, you know <laughs> But like you could really like you could like you know some signed shirt that you did for a kid could be the reason that they go and get a college scholarship like they might run track seriously, do whatever, and potentially go and get like a whole scholarship just off the fact that like, oh, you know, I met this person and I was running well and I feel like I'm actually pretty good and I want to try, you know.
everybody, this is Spencer Nell. This is the guy who basically decided that he was gonna bank on me and a dream, me and my brother. He signs all the checks. He's the, the big man on campus. Uh, he's put on this track meet. He's the, the guy for Adidas. So I um, just wanted to introduce him. Spencer, you want to say anything? I just want to say, uh, inspirational, I don't know about that. Standing next to you is inspirational enough. No, it was, it was a pleasure to, to meet the Lyles brothers and the Lyles family and it's been a pleasure so far and the journey has yet begun. It definitely is only yet to begun. <laughs> no. We're getting to the fun stuff. We're getting to the fun stuff. Good. Thanks, Spencer. <laughs> uh, no, we got here at four. We uh, went and did some things with the kids. Yeah. Kinda, we were supposed to give a speech and they ran with it. They, they started asking like the questions off the rip. Like <laughs> yeah, they, they were like there, 10 and under. Well, if you have any questions. Yeah, oh, hands yeah. straight up. Are you guys fast? Yeah. Are you fast? Are you the fastest? Yeah. It's like, how many miles do you run? Do you want a hundred million ability? Mm, that's not a number, but okay. What's your marathon time? Try to practice. Get this done. It's a little wet. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, it's not the best ideal situation when we're, you know, on a new built track. But it's the, you know, just what we got. You know, so everybody got to train in it. And I don't think it's gonna rain tomorrow. So I guess we could just call this like extreme pre preparation. You know, preparation. Preparation. There we go. Wow, they have this whole thing set up for like, they're really trying to go like all day. This is truthfully how I think track and field kind of should be set up in terms of track meets. And we should be doing activities for people to come enjoy the events and then at the end of the day, they get to come in and watch the professionals run. Most people just come into the meet, they'll watch the professionals run and they'll leave. You know, there's no experience outside of that. You know, it doesn't feel like a party, it just feels like you have, you're forced to sit and watch for two hours straight. Now there's no games, no excitement. You know, even at, when you go to a basketball game, you know, you're watching some type of entertainment between the timeouts and all that. None of that attracts. You know, we haven't evolved. You know, the same people who are making the ideas since then are making the ideas now. And it's kind of hard to grow with the times if we aren't, you know, changing the management. Testing out the track, middle two lanes, I'm not finding any dead spots really, or nothing to really worry about. Um, I haven't completely checked out the starting line, but I'm not too worried about that, but no, I'm ready. Coach just shut me down after doing two build-ups, and really only one of them was a build-up, so that means he sees something too, so you feeling good, running good, shoot. Now all we gotta do is go back, we're gonna do a little bit of work with Joe, get out of maybe a few like, little things that are just too tight to be doing while we're trying to run and we'll be ready for tomorrow. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Gonna be good. Just, just making sure the body's moving well and evenly. So left versus right, obviously after traveling yesterday, it wasn't a long travel, but um, it's still a flight. So it's still more sitting than what Noah's used to. So you just wanna check that biomechanically he's even, he's moving freely through all his joints and able to produce power where he needs to. Feeling good. <laughs>
I don't know what it is. We came over here and I started jogging around. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm I, I feeling something. Feeling something in the air. Just need to get that start like we're not even thinking yeah. about them watching driving. Nah. It's 100% from the gas. Yeah. Uh, it would be nice if it's a little warmer tomorrow. I'm hoping it will be, but it's still going to be at night, so it's kind of the second thing. But even if it was like this, I'm going to be fine. Reminds me, right now, reminds me of being in Brussels. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Always I, I get a different vibe though right now. Sometimes yeah. New York's nice. Yeah. yeah, if they have it. I mean, they just started bringing New York back. This is the first time that they're having this track meet in Atlanta. So we're getting some more track meets. But we just want to increase the, you know, the popularity of each one of them. Yeah. I so think the reason for doing it is kind of just to put the. You know, track and field stars in a major city where people can see them. Yeah. Because you see them on TV all the time and never have a chance to actually go watch it. Yeah. And that's kind of, I think, the purpose behind it. Yeah. There is one. It's like when you get to see, you know, a, a, the Lakers play. You can go to the Lakers stadium. You know where they're going to be. You know, we need to have those same types of track meets here in the U.S. for us. You know that we're going to come back to Atlanta every year. You know that we're going to go to New York. You know that we're going to go to L.A. walk-in has many purposes but one of the things that I wanted to really help with is being comfortable in yourself when you show up to the track I'm getting people out of the idea of being scared to be here we are stars as we're showing up it sometimes might not feel like it but we are track stars we're Olympians we're world champions we're the best in the whole entire world like that that's it we should feel comfortable and excited and show up with a little bit of swagger when we show up. I wanna wear my cool clothes. I wanna, you know, come in with a swagger. I want, you know, people to see me and like, oh, that's a cool guy. Like, I, I wanna be like him. I can feel it in my. Ah, uh, you've, you've my got body. that. You've got that. Got that itch. Oh my god, I just got, got that itch. You just tried to smart it. So the race plan today is power. That's the word. The word is power. Power in the steps that I take today, the force into the ground, the force into the blocks, the force down the track, the, the mindset that I just need to constantly have will be power. Having powerful, strong strides coming out of the blocks. Hear the the thunderous sound of the track and my foot making contact. Just building and building and building and building. Eventually, getting to an uncontainable amount that we are basically trapping lightning in a bottle. And our final athlete tonight, the two-time world champion and American record holder at 200 meters, 300 meters indoor, the ultimate entertainer, a man of fashion, art, and all things eclectic. And he's hoping to do something special for you tonight. And he's already down the track, American Noah Lyles. On your mark. The studio, the American record in this event is 14 seconds 41, 14 
And the world record is today is 1435. So we'll keep those times in honor and watch the ball. <laughs> All right, I got two fast gentlemen with me right now, Mr. Noah Lyles. Noah, Noah, you're one of my favorite athletes to cover. You bring the entertainment, you bring the, you want all the smoke, you bring the fashion, you break records, the list goes on. Why do you put so much into this sport? Because if I don't, who will? That's more energy and excitability. I like that from you. Because we just got to hit it when it's the right time, like tonight was. Yeah. Okay. Everything else we've been doing is getting ready to start running fast. Now it's time to start running fast. You got me? Yep. All right. I'm pleased, though. So, there was a lot of gray that came out of it. Especially, yeah, I really like that start. I really like the, the 10 but to 20 I can, meters. I can see that in the drills. That mm -hmm. came from how the whole process today we was doing and excitability. Perfect speed. Yeah. I, I definitely wanted that record though. At least the American record. Like, jeez. Like, I definitely thought that was going to be faster. But it's whatever. We're still on load and it's still the very beginning of the season. We got all the way to August 19th. Technically, all the way to September, but that's when Worlds is. All right, let's cool down.